Okay, this could be awkward. Because I already got 1.25 million because I sent a, a, a report in. And now I'm getting another 1.25. I might have to send an email and confess that I have... Because well, it was late getting to me. They said within 48 hours. And now there's... A, how much do we have here? Is it just another notification? Because I got... Let's see, if I'm at 33.8, then it's all fine. That's, that's that's normal. Come on, load up. How much we got? Three point... Oh, I have to send an email. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, 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 dear my... Dick, um... Wow. Well, we'll, we'll get to that. That's a, that's a thing. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll pick this video up later. I have to make a phone Anything call. You need, boss. Or send an email. Whoo, it's all good. It's all, it's all really good. Actually, I, I sent a message to Rockstar Support, and they said, uh, yeah, we're, we're glad that you mentioned it, but you can keep the extra $1.25 million. So I ended up with quite the bonus there. You know, that's, that's kind of a good thing. A lot of good things coming out of this Twitch Prime sub, uh, subscription that I've got going. Now, I didn't go for the Twitch Prime subscription just for moments like this, of course. No, no, no. As a matter of fact, the reason I've got it, I've had it for a while now, is because I am a huge fan of uh, the Grand Tour and Top Gear before that. And the only way you can view the Grand Tour, unless you're watching all kinds of, you know, perhaps, well, there's some YouTube there, I guess, but the only way you can really see a lot of it is to have an Amazon Prime account, so why not have the Twitch Prime thing going? And so, as you can see here, this is my, my Grand Tour Top Gear inspired garage. It's, uh, some of it's loose inspiration, some of it's very, very specific, in, you know, inspiration. It depends on how much Top Gear you've seen as to what some of these things may mean to you. This is very meaningful. But we're going to leave that garage for the time being and head over here and grab my Deluxo because I need I need a car with a little bit of, a little bit of height advantage. We need something that can fly a little bit. Because this is our last chance to see here, our last chance to see the old casino. Yes, yes, yes. I'm sure you've seen by now because there are 10,000 videos of this up on, on the YouTubes there. Of the, the latest announcement, right, Rockstar, that on the 23rd of July, this old thing goes away. And we're going to get the brand new Diamond Casino. It's a much bigger place. All of these series, but we'll do. We're trying to peek into the garages and stuff like that. No, 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 no. That's... All this is going to be flying away from us. Now, interesting point. I guess it should still be there, right? In the single player. Because that should be happening in the past. So, therefore, which causes some continuity errors, I guess. I mean, one of the main characters in the new DLC, I think they say, got killed in the single player. But I, I don't remember him getting killed. I haven't done everything with the single player yet, but I don't remember that bit. I'll have to me we'll have to fire up some single player in a little bit here and see how that goes. But this will be the last time I land on the roof probably here in the in the Deluxo, unless they came up with some other kind of announcement and I just end up doing the same thing. Or if I feel like it be a completely different roof someday. A lot of positive things. I'm very happy I've got the Twitch Prime thing because if you if you had it linked by the 19th, which is now past, then you you get the Master Penthouse for free, which is kind of a big deal. That's like getting the whole DLC for for no effort. So they're really pushing this this Twitch Prime you know connection. Which is kind of, you know, it, it's still worthwhile doing. If you've got Twitch Prime, if you've got Amazon Prime, you know, certainly, you know, 
hook that Bob, hook it to your, your social club because they're going to keep doing stuff like this, I'm, I'm sure of it. It can't be a one-time deal. Well, I guess it could be, but I doubt it. As it stands right now, the um, they're going to give you, I think, another 1.25 million, unless the unless the blog post there on, on the newswire is confusing. Unless they're, refu they're, unless they're referring to the 1.25 that you already got. Not certain about that, but hey, listen, just getting the master penthouse. I mean, for me, that that's a big deal. That means I can pretty much spend all of my money on gambling. I don't need to... All this money I've been grinding. And it might actually turn into the, uh, the free DLC that I talked about some videos ago. It, it's an interesting thing. That was, that was a path to making money off a free L DLC that I had never, had never thought about, you know, making it a promotional to go along with Twitch Prime. I mean, I don't know how the dollars move back and forth there, but I mean, obviously it's, it's effective. It's, it's an interesting thing. Now, I don't know, because I have two characters, will that mean I get two Master Penthouses, or will I have to buy just one? I could, I could deal with that. Unless it's like a $30 million thing, in which case, well, you know, the CEO will enjoy his. And I don't know. I don't know if it, if it really fits Rusty Jack's profile anyway. Is he going to buy a casino thing? The smart thing to do is probably to do it, because you have, you know, you get one free spin on the wheel of free cars. And if any of those cars that you can get are the new fastest car in the game, well then, it kind of behooves you to get them. That's just a thing. So we'll probably end up with a couple penthouses, and we will organize them a little differently. And again, I'm not going to go over all the details. There are a lot of details. But... All this construction, they're going to just level the place, as far as I could tell. Unless it's, well, we'll see how it looks, how much of this is going to remain here. Are they just going to build up and above from it, or is it going to be completely leveled and start over again? You can see, you can see pictures of it coming off there. The, they have a whole website for it and everything else like that, for the Diamond Casino. I wonder if that's in the, uh, is it a website here, or is it... A, a real life website. No matches. Let's see. No match. Probably it's the real life deal. I'm kind of happy that some of the things I predicted are coming true. There is going to be a way to bet on the horses. They're not going to be flying around this track, I don't think. They make it look like it's a virtual horse racing kind of thing. Almost like they planned to do what I suggested and then somehow couldn't make it work, so they just made it a video game inside the video game. Who knows, though? Maybe we'll get real-life betting on the horses at some point. We really don't know. In the trailer, it looks like there's cars driving around us. There'll be car racing going around here where the horses normally race. I mean, there's already races around here. It's not a bad track. It's not a particularly complicated kind of deal here. It's an interesting thing, because now I'm trying to think, do I really need... Now that now they gave me 2.5 million, and I did a little bit more grinding, and I'm up to just around... Just around 36. 36 million. And I'm not particularly one to blow it all gambling. It's good, depending on how it all goes, if the gambling is fun. And something that you enjoy doing. Well, then I can see it, I guess. I'm glad they have it in the game. It makes it more realistic. The immersion level has gone up by a thousand percent.
But as the website says, this skyline's going to change forever. Unless you go back to single player. I'm trying to think. What other things did I that I say they would do? It does look like they're doing the thing where you can you know, buy stuff with your chips exclusively inside the casino. So therefore, they may still have that isolation between GTA money and casino money, so that. You know, you're you're not necessarily. It's not a, a path to actual gambling with real money. There's ways of getting chips apparently by doing missions for the. Uh, the you know, by the way, the uh, the trailers for this, where they chose the single player, you know, not single player, but I mean the the actual story driven mission stuff that goes on with this looks really good. I mean, they've brought back characters from GTA, you know, Vice City, and they've you know they've got Avery Carrington back. It was a more minor character, but he was an interesting character. You know, you got, you know, got Chen is back with the tie wrapped around his head. I mean, there's, there's all kinds of Brucey's going to be in the flesh in this game as opposed to just on your phone. All kinds of good stuff going on. I'm looking forward to doing all those. This is, I'm, I'm excited. I am now fully invested in the excitement for the casino, if that makes any sense. So I will keep you posted. More videos will be coming. I'm not going to do the whole trailer breakdown like everybody else is doing. I mean, you know, you guys know the the people to check out. Check out Sonny Evans. Check out GTA Men. Check out Gruffy. Pi Realms got some stuff going on here. You know, you know the usual suspects. Check them out. They'll give you the info. We'll take care of you. Okay. Hold on a second. Stop the presses. Or the rendering. Or whatever. Just stop it. Okay, listen to me. Avery Carrington is going to be in this DLC, right? He's supposed to be the antagonist. Well, Avery, Avery's not his own muscle. Avery uses other people for his muscle. Um... Who's the... What's going to be the final challenge? What's going to be the goal of this DLC? Is it going to be to stop Avery? Or is it going to be to stop Avery's close friend? Will we get to say, Mr. Versetti, welcome to Los Santos. Are you tough enough to take on Tommy? Who comes from a world when your cars slip over, you don't get to flip them back over. They explode. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. At the casino. Where the heck is Sturgis? You got to be kidding me. Are you serious? I like that one, one spot. One spot gaming. Parking video thing. No? Fine. <laughs>